What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I am the Twisted Jedi and today we're looking at something incredible that EA and DICE have given us overnight. Now, we did get some first gameplay of a new hero character for Star Wars Battlefront 2. And yes, you guessed it, it is Darth Vader. Now, I know we've all been waiting for some Darth Vader gameplay and this is the EA website. Now, the EA website did do an update overnight, so there is some new info on there. It shows Rey and Darth Vader in the hero section of the multiplayer section on the website. Now we get this hologram that looks awesome of Darth Vader. He just looks so tanky, so incredible. And we get some new gameplay of a couple new maps. So those are the things we're going to be talking about in this video today. Now, obviously people are going to be asking about abilities and I have been playing the beta for a few days. I've been playing as Darth Maul a fair bit. You can see some footage here and you know, he has his force choke. He has his spin. He has his saber throw and everyone's wondering, are Vader's abilities going to be similar to Maul's? Now I want to start by saying, yes, they're going to be similar, but they're not going to be the same. So we know Darth Maul has force choke, saber throw, and his spin. Now they're very, very effective, but they are unique to him. If we look at Darth Vader's abilities here, he has focused rage, which means Darth Vader deals more damage and can absorb more punishment. It also says he has saber throw where he hurls his lightsaber at enemies and force choke. Now Vader uses his force choke to lift damage and drop enemies. I feel like there's going to be a little bit of control with his force choke. So you can throw them, you can drop them to the ground as opposed to Maul that just sends them flying in the distance. He does look awesome. Obviously, his coveted lightsaber is amazing. Kylo Ren's going to want to get his hands on that. Now, we do see a little bit of a map here. Now, this is the forest moon of Endor. And if you look here, we do see a Twi'lek. That's going to show that I think the full game is going to have a little bit of customization available to all players. We see his saber throw here looking incredibly awesome as always. It does have pretty good carry. Now in the first game, his saber throw did go quite far, but I believe in this one, it goes a little bit further. Now looking at the map, it is Jakku. It does look like the scrapyard that Rey was flying through in the Millennium Falcon when her and Finn were trying to escape Jakku in The Force Awakens. That's just my take on it. And that's what I thought what it looked like, but it's up to you guys what you want to take out of that. The next map is the Death Star 2, and we can see Vader hacking and slashing his way through some rebels, and we do get a view from the rebels' perspective, which is probably something you don't want to see, Vader jumping at you like that, but nonetheless, very, very cool. And the third map we get a look at is Yavin 4, and we see Luke bounding towards him, which is going to be insane. I'm so excited to see hero on hero gameplay, and hopefully some more Luke footage soon. I hope they update the website with that. Now his force choke does look super powerful here and you can see that. I'm just so excited to play as Vader. You can probably hear it in my voice. I love Darth Vader. I love the dark side. Anything to do with that is insane. Now before I get out of here, please submit your top plays to me. I will be doing a giveaway video coming soon. Send your videos to me via Twitter or you can leave a comment down below and send the videos at the Twisted Jedi. Now that's going to be all for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for tuning in. I am the Twisted Jedi and may the force be with you.